Okay, I told you guys I was gonna do it. Here's a 12 amp hour on a five inch quad, 6S. Let's see if it hovers. Okay, so the answer is yes, it does. The question is, will it actually fly? Because I don't know, but I'm going to try it. We're going to try it. Okay, is it recording? Yep. Okay, that's 12 amp hour. That's 12,000 milliamp hour 6S on a quad. I'm just going to cruise it around to see if it works. I'm going to go probably in the dirt in case I crash it. I want to hit the concrete. Okay, are we ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Oh. That's less than 50% throttle, Elijah. Oh, wow. Ooh, it wants to fall fast. It's a thousand watts to keep it in the air, Elijah. A thousand? Yes. That's a thousand of those magma balls. It is screaming. Ooh, he wants to tip over backwards. There's full power. Wow. 2300 watt. Oh, it fell out of the sky. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so the answer is not very well. <laughs> <laughs> that was a semi-expected result. Uh, no. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Here. Okay. All is normal. All is well. That was that oh, was actually that was actually them. really impressive that it worked at all. Like the fact that it flew at all was really impressive. Nobody's flying. Where is it? Who saw? No. The, where's my quad? Oh, it's over here. It's still on. Battery's still on there. Where? It's it's either that black thing or it's somewhere over there. I think I see it. I think you see it? Maybe. Okay, so the answer is yes. I made a giant ghost of it. I tried to get it to flip back over. So what it did is it flipped upside down on me and it didn't want to come back. I didn't want to full power it into the ground. I didn't also want it to fall out of the ground. So I just tried to like hover it into the ground, which I'm not sure I did a good job. Oh, we found it. Okay. It's probably just fine. Yep. Okay, so the answer is it actually flies and it's not that bad, but it flipped upside down because the CG's so far back. Where'd my GoPro go? Oh, your GoPro? Yeah. It flew off. Oh, that's, oh, it's there. Okay. And that is how you do that. Still recording? Uh, I do not know. Yeah, I hit the top. It's still recording. Hit the, hit the, there you go. Huh? Is that where it hit? Yep. Holy cow. That's where it hit. Yeah, okay. Because it was upside down. And then it flew over there. Look, the mount's still good. The GoPro mount's still good. I can pop it back on and fly. Is the SD card still in it? Yeah, it's still in it. Okay. Huh? All right, let's go. Let's go that way off the runway. I don't know. Grandpa, it flew. It did. It's still in one piece. Although, although a little bent up, it hit upside down, so it'll be fine. Okay, well, there's your answer. I'll show you the damage when we get back. Still good? Oh, that last pouch is a little squashed. It's a little puffy, but it was always a little puffy. I think it's alright. Okay, we're back home. I didn't really film this, but here's your damage report. Broke my connector in half. This guy probably hit the prop.
I, I really don't know. I, or just hit the ground. Battery, it was already swollen like this. That's why I flew it. Um, it looks like it crunched, but actually, I think it just broke this off. Like, I think that crunch, this little crunch right here is the only real thing. But this battery was already... Oh, I can hold it. This battery was already really swollen like this. Um, I checked the battery... It's fine, and in fact, I actually flew it in this plane after I crashed this one. Then, I flew this thing with the 5,000 milliamp hour battery right after I crashed it. So, this quad flies perfectly fine. Um, the GoPro ripped off. Um, there is the only piece, that little broken clip on the GoPro mount. Of course, I scratched the lens up, but it was already scratched, so it doesn't matter. Those are new scratches. Those are new scratches, but the quad itself... Except for, of course, the props were bent like crazy. You can see I, I bent them back actually and flew on them the rest of the day. Um, they got they got pretty chewed up. And they were actually pretty new. So besides the props being screwed up, nothing broke, and it's perfectly fine. So, what do we think about this science experiment? Well, if you look at the way that this is, and I'm going to get you some weights real quick as well. But if you look at the way this is, basically. That battery is centered about right on these back props, okay? And what happened was, I flew real slow back, flew back, and if you watch the footage, I started turning this way, okay? And these props are actually spinning outward, okay? So you have to counter-rotate to turn the quad. So when you turn the quad, this back motor has less thrust than it normally does. And this, and I turned, every time I turned, I turned this way. And it went like this every time if you watch the quad just like falls backwards so if you're watching the gopro footage and it's flying it starts falling towards that back motor and that's because most of this weight was on basically the back and when i turned left this motor didn't have enough thrust to stay in the air and control itself and so if you look every time i turn i start kind of getting a little unstable and then the last run i went full power and therefore the motor didn't have enough RPM. I was out of RPM on the motor. That was actually why it crashed. Otherwise, that sucker flew. Let me get you some weights. All right, we already know how much the quad weighs, but I'm gonna weigh it for you. Make sure it's still the same weight. Yep, still exactly the same weight. Now I wrote on this battery what it weighs. I have on here three pounds, 7.4 ounces. Let's see if that's accurate. pretty darn accurate so add the whole total weight on there and you are at four pounds 10.4 ounces and it flew on a five inch that's crazy so what is my final conclusion actually I think if I put this battery in the center of the CG and get it correct remove the GoPro and put it right in the middle I actually think this will fly and I might have to try it again. What do you guys think? Yes? No? Maybe? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see. That's a stupidly large heavy battery. 12 amp hours. 12,000 milliamp hour. Alright, God bless. Have a good day. Peace and love. See you on the next one, whenever that is. I got tons of stuff to edit. In fact, let me show you what I've been doing over here. So this plane right here is fully autonomous. And uh, it can take off, fly a pattern, and land all by itself. And we did succeed. And now I have like, I don't know, 200 gigabytes of footage to go through. So that's my next task. Eventually you'll see this. Might take me a year, but I'll get to it. So let me know if you want to see it. Anyway, after I crashed it, I actually took it up and did some filming with this battery. And this one actually still works perfectly fine. It's crazy. All right, peace out.
still recording? Sweet.